Hey, you know, it usually helps that I uh, turn my microphone on. But uh, yeah, welcome to KTV TV. Um, and I'm streaming Kerbal Space Program again because I feel like it. I worked very nearby home today, and so I'm going to play some Kerbal Space Program until my wife and child get home. So I have about an hour and an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. So let's see what we happen. Let's see what we happens. That's right. Hey, Ender, that's really funny, and I'm glad that you exited out of it right in time for me to go live again. It's always nice when that happens, right? <laughs> um, we have some heavy rocketry, and boy, are we going to orbit the planet. No, explore the moon. We're going to plant a flag on the moon. That's what we're going to do. Um, though I'm realizing that... I think, yes, Kerbals on EVAs can place flags. Um, the only upgrade to this would give me extra Kerbals. Um, the upgrade to this, max DSN power, and then unknown object tracking. Huh. All right. I don't think I need to do any upgrades here. Kerbals, Kerbal EVAs can collect surface samples. I want to do this, but I don't know how much a rocket is going to cost. Hey. Oh, hey, you can click on the flagpole to change your... We're going to we're gonna keep the gray one. So, hold on a minute. Now I need to look at the, look at the little flag. Uh, it's, it's right there. Yep. Boop. Still my flag. Plant a flag on Kerbin. <gasps> Excuse me. That's an excellent idea. I'm literally just going to be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I don't need a rocket. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh. I've, been, I, I've got all this eye strain going because I've been, you know, working and I'm just hurting my myself at this point. Uh, EVA. Uh, spaces let go. All right, Jeb. Let's plant a flag. Plant a flag. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Um, EVA report? Nothing. Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, I... I I I think that this is going to stay there for all of the launches. So actually, give me a second. Let's... J Jeb, can you walk slightly faster over here? Let's see if it completely destroys the flag when I launch. Let's, or let's see if it stays here, number one, because it might just clear the launch pad, you know? Um, Site name Ender's idea. This was Ender's idea. Blame him. Okay. Uh there we, we can <laughs> oh, that's so dumb, I love it. I can climb on top of the flag. I can also dive. Um Lower visor. Oh, cool. Remove helmet. EVA report with the removed helmet. No, nothing. Okay. All right. Get back in. Can you run? You can run. Awesome. F. Forward. All right. Perfect. I wonder if it's going to yell at me about having to, like, clear the launch pad. Um, recover this. Cool. Um, I still want to see that, uh, that fall. Toggle, toggle flags. This is Ender's idea. There we go. That's right where it is. 
remove the helmet on the moon. I'm not killing Jeb. I'm not killing Jeb. No. No. Let me rephrase. I'm not intentionally killing Jeb. Um, that flag is going to stay there forever, isn't it? Yep. Okay, cool. Um... So, we're sticking with the command pod. We're sticking with the command pod. We're going to get the... Um... Here it is. And the drag parachute's on it. I just... No, I can't. I don't know what 1, 2, and 3 do, but... Is it variants here? Nope. Okay. I want to know what the variants of this flag are now. Okay, sure. Get off. Then don't send Jeb to the moon. <laughs> if I don't, if you don't want to kill Jeb, but you do want to remove his helmet, don't send Jeb to the moon. I mean, technically, technically, that's an answer. Pick a number from one to five. I don't have any dice with me. Uh, four. <laughs> no, wait, three. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna put a heat shield on. And just, to, like, get our re-entry pod set. Um, heat shield. A bigger heat shield, please. Alright, we get a decoupler. Cool. So we are set here, and actually, let's make sure that we change those. Too late using four. Oh, there we are. That's, that's fine. Uh, it's, <laughs> I figure it's uh, still funny anyway. Uh, um, what do we have? Oh, I, I'm going to want the Science Junior to come with me. And should I get a experimental storage unit? Can I, is there a can I do a shroud for this? I don't think I can. I should not use this experimental storage unit. Um, I should, however, use this service bay. Oh, you know what? There is one other thing that I want to check first. I want to check and see about the um some of my science. You're playing COD and you have a few more things. You're trying to do ranging le ranging from getting weapon levels and camos to doing challenges. I see. So I've just given you a random thing to work on. Excellent. Um, perfect. Uh, oh, am I going to orbit or am I going to land? I think I'm, I think I'm attempting to go for a land. Working on the worst thing you can do right now. You're welcome. Uh, the mobility enhancer. This is what I was looking for. The freaking ladder. I'm not going to be able to land on the moon until I get this. Like, straight up. Um, so, I think that we're just going to hit for orbit at this point. I need to I need to get rid of the flag. We need to fly fly the flag at the it's gonna be sitting there the whole time. A sniper that has a fire rate of one bullet every two seconds. I hope it is a good bolt action sniper that does a lot of damage and has high accuracy. Am I close? You say it's the worst thing, so you know. Listen, you should only need to take one shot with a sniper rifle. Um, let's open this. <laughs> no, no. Shift, yes. There we go. The worst sniper you have, but it does a shit ton of damage. You know, sometimes... Um, actually, actually, hold on a minute, let's do this, 
put two of these in. And we'll put a temperature sensor on the inside here as well. That's two of those. And then this is 0.5. The batteries are also 0.5. Good. I'm going to need to unsnap these. Uh, oh, I can just like place these on the floor, can't I? I'm like doing them all on the walls and stuff. There we are. Okay, no, I can't I can't do that. That's interesting. I just realized these batteries are na 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 Batman batteries. Alright. That should work there. And where's my temperature sensors? Just in case, just so that I get some sort of science available there. 30 RPM is the fastest it will ever fire. Well, again, if it's a sniper, you should be, you should be firing one bullet every like five minutes. Come on. I'm sure, that's exactly exactly how you view this and exactly how the game is supposed to go, right? That's how that's how that works. I don't need two of these. Thank you. Uh, let's put that there, I guess. Given that I now have some space to do that. Uh, 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 Alright. Is there any other science I can pack into this? I could put some mystery goo in here. Um... Yeah, let's put some mystery goo on the side of the that. Oh yeah, that totally works. I can still open this, right? Yeah, perfect. Close doors. Close doors of the service bay. All right. All right. There we go. So that's something. Um, I mean, I don't have any stairs, but, you know, one, one day at a time here. I do have landing struts. Um, I think before I do a... I, again, I need to just do orbit. I, I don't think I can do a lander. But when do I get the... Oh, um, precision propulsion? No. Separatron one? No. I'm looking for... Oh, yeah, mobile processing lab. Oh. Um... The thing that I'm actually looking for here is a shell to put around my a shell to put around my um, parts. The name of which, like it opens up like this. I can't think of what it's called, so I'm just gonna have to look for it instead. Some more landing stuff. Ooh, now there's a monopropellant tank. Man, oh, more command modules. Um, wow, this is not going to be for a while, huh? Protective shell. Yes. That's not going to be for a while, huh? Oh, yeah, no. Rocket nose, protective rocket nose cone. Airstream protective shell. 
Yeah. Okay. So I could get it in in here. All right. But before again, I can't land. I'm not going for a landing. So this is where we're at with this is our return vessel. Um let's make sure that we get a good liquid fuel tank here. Just shove that on there. Uh, uh no. Um ba -ba -ba -bum. Oh. I mean, I was close with being able to do it with this fuel tank last time. And I think that if I can set my orbit before needing to use this fuel tank, I think that that will be good. So I'm going to stick with this. Um, let's decouple. Yep. Um, what are my contracts right now? Plant a flag on the moon and orbit the moon and return from orbit. And test the drop shoots. Okay. Um. So I've got my decoupler here. I one of the parts that I really like is the tri decoupler or the the like tri adapter. So you can put three rocket boosters underneath one. Uh, adapter. Oh shoot! I oh good. I do have a Rocco Max adapter here. Uh, do I want to go for Rocco Max? I think all of their stuff is just like massively more expensive, but you know, price versus the amount that you're actually gonna get, the amount of boost you're actually gonna get. Let's see. The Poodle engine is not what I want. I want... Yeah, I think the Skipper engine is the one that I want to do for the main thruster. And then the Poodle if I'm going to be in orbit up there. So let's put it... Let's try this. Let's put a... Fine. All right, fine. Let's put our adapter on. We shall... Oh, structured fuselage. Yes. Um, let's put a big ol' fuel tank. See if, see if this is way more than we need or not. going to be our poodle, which should be our in space maneuvering. So this one here, I want to get um, this, this thruster here, I want to use only to adjust on orbit to the moon. This one I'm hoping to get um, to bring me to the actual moon itself so then the last thing that we're looking for is or sorry this is getting us to space this is getting us the rest of the way to space and then pushing us out into orbit um <laughs> which is why I'm using the poodle which Oh, stay there. Yeah, thank you. Has an engine ISP of 350 in a vacuum. And this one has an engine ISP of 320 in a vacuum, but 280 in the atmosphere. Yeah. So, let's put on a big Rocco Max fuel tank. Um, no, 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 wait a minute. Decoupler. 
then we are looking for a big Rocco Max fuel tank. Uh, two of them. And a big Rocco Max engine. Uh, and let's see, we will probably need some boosters. So let's get some, let's zoom out, let's zoom out. What are we looking at right now? All right, it's, it's a thing. I want, I want stage one to get us through the main atmosphere. Stage one to get us through the main atmosphere, or stage five. Like it's, I want to reverse what these uh, will do. Oh, is this an estimate of how how fast I can go? Oh, neat. Um, side decouplers. Let's put on two of these big old honkies. That's what these are called, right? That's not a an appropriate word at all. Okay. Um, we can go further down than that. Okay. Hey, yeah, let's do that. Um, put some nose cones. And aerodynamics, nose cones. Let's put a couple of... Um, Bins on the back of this. Oh, I can't. I can only do two. Cool. Um. you know, keep a little stability there. All right, this one, these ones, and this one, actually. Uh, at the same time, then pop those off while this one still finishes. I think that should work. Okay. Uh, let's just get a bit of stability in here, too, with this strut connector. Triangles are strong. Remember, triangles are strong. Therefore, we do triangles. Well, there we go. All right. Let's see how this works. This, oh, what are we gonna call this? This is, um, no, 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 cancel. Uh, I think that this is going to be called the um, Go Far Mark II. This is the Mark III. Um, delete that one. Uh, do not go fast. Do not go fast. Go fast and go far. This is the Mark II, is what we're looking at. All right, let's try this. Oh, uh, we have to clear the launch pad. We have to recover Ender's idea. <sighs> Worth a shot. This is the fact that it would have been sitting there the whole time. So sad, I know. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> well, that doesn't look good. <clears throat> <laughs> oh no. Why why is it leading to that side specifically? Alright, hold on. Herbert flight to vehicle assembly. I need to drink more clearly to you enter. Mm. Uh those stay there. Yeah, thank you.
Uh, I guess that this... Oh! Is the Rockomax slightly non-symmetrical? Oh, that's not cool. Where's my, um... No, 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 no. Um, where's the button that shows me the center mass overlay? Yeah. Yeah. If anything, it's slightly towards the back. But all right. Yeah. As long as the center of mass hangs down below this, we should be in good shape, right? I should probably make sure that this goes not into the ground, but actually sits on it. Is that better? Close enough. Let's see. So does it change it? No, it does not change it so that it sits on the ground. Those are the only things holding it up. Okay. All right, so we have to remember to um, kick our throttle all the way up. Apparently throttle is either on or off still. So that's fun. I don't know how to change that. Um, but we want to go throttle on. We want to go there and oh fuck it let's see what happens so yes the liquid fuel definitely burns slower than the solid fuel so that's good I mean it's nice that the uh The craft seems relatively stable. I guess that the momentum for it is just a little nicer. Let's kick these guys out and then we'll keep going with our solid fuel. So we're not even, or with our liquid fuel, we're not even halfway through our liquid fuel. Whew, just barely. No explosion. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, this uh, this has a nice this has a nice engine that lets me actually change my orbit quite well. Um, definitely high enough, and we go more sideways. Oh. Can we drop all the frames? Every single frame. Do it. Yeah, Twitch. It's what you want, isn't it? Hmm. So, that's interesting. I definitely have way more liquid fuel than I was expecting. So that's nice. No, no, other way, other way, other way, other way, thank you. No. Shoot. Well, I guess I'm just spinning now. This debris is still going up. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Okay, we are uh, going to be able to point at 90 degrees or what? There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think this would be a perfect time. No, but, but, hey, hey. Maybe could you point my heading at 90 degrees? Thank you. Let's kill the thrusters. Actually, let's, uh, here we go. Just bop that right away. Yo. Um, cool. I don't want to uh, go look at the debris. Um, because I will get distracted and I won't be able to revert my flight. So... Uh, we're going to set our target as the moon. And we're going to work on getting our... Oh, I suppose that we could have... Let's... Where is our target? Not close enough there. Yeah, no, let's get our... Let's get closer to a stable orbit so that we can get in on the moon. Okay. I, I need to figure this out. Add maneuver. I don't know what... How does this... Node in, t node in time... Let's just see what happens when I get there. Just disappear. I can't automate my maneuver. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how that's supposed to work. All right. Let's burn prograde. Now. Oh, and we have so much fuel. Oh, I love it. It's interesting because I feel like I'm not really uh, accelerating much here, but I feel like I've probably got a lot more weight than I normally did. Plus, I have I have plenty of fuel just for this stage, and this stage is supposed to get me stable orbit and to the moon. Or rather, this stage is supposed to get, yeah, this is supposed to get me stable orbit and then maneuver to moon intercept. That should be good. Hmm. And we have achieved stable orbit. Let's start pointing at target. When prograde and target are similar, then we can burn. Yo, 
yeah, when prograde and target overlap. I believe that's the that's the key here is how do we do how do we how do we do this uh, moon intercept? And I'm pretty sure that it is just this. Okay, we're getting close. All right, uh, I want to bring it above the horizon, but I'm also worried about missing my opportunity here. Plus, we're at what? Uh, uh, yeah, no, we're we're still raising the the parry, right? Yeah. Just point at the target and burn. Eventually, we'll get there. Just wanted to look at my different modes here and realized I was on a different one than I expected. All right. Because my throttle apparently I can't I can't do anything other than Cool. Can't do anything other than uh, tiny thralls there. All right. Uh, mm. Now let's meet the moon. So we're going to slow down a bunch at our peak here. Yep. And actually, yeah. Let's burn retrograde now. Not retrograde. No, 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 no. Target, target, target. Point out target. Um, yep. Point out target. I'm kind of off axis here, which is not great, but... This should be slowing myself down to get into line with the moon, if I'm not wrong. No, I am wrong, as a matter of fact. You know what? Let's just see what happens. I'm just kind of hanging here. Am I going to hit like an L2 node or something? Like what? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, that's it. That Ah, here we are. Now then. Now burn retrograde at Perry. And that'll slow us down into orbit. And here. Burn retro at Perry. I'm pretty sure that we could get like an L2 node or something in here. Oh, yes! Yeah, 
Yes. Holy crap. Let's get... How close can we get to the moon? How close can we get to the moon without crashing into it? 52. Um, there's no atmosphere, so... 32. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at Jeb. How you doing, Jeb? Got any good uh, crew reports for me? Useful? Nope, nothing. Cool. <clears throat> How about you, Mystery Goo? Um, I will hold on to that. You, I think... But yeah, we're gonna wanna hold on to that. Let's take a look at the, uh... Other science equipment I have in here. Hug temperature, high above the moon, nothing. How about pressure data? Nothing. Okay. Close. Alright. <clears throat> Rather have too many science instruments than too few. Where is it? I don't know that I see that. Oh, that's a cool cluster here. Oh, gosh, it's, it's, I'm, it's right next to the, I thought this was like a, uh, I thought this was a lens flare from the sun. Okay. Um, okay. Let's. I'm just going to gently orbit the moon. Um, our contract parameters. We have indeed orbited the moon. Um, if I could land properly, which I can't get out properly, um, because I don't have a ladder, uh, then I would, I would have tried to land this time, but getting home is hard, so... Oh, jeez. Oh, no, prograde. No, look, go prograde. Um, hey, Jeb. Got a nice report. Eye over the moon still, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having some trouble there? All right. Let's just turn that off for the moment. Or just go to regular stability assist. 32, what are we at? 64. If 32 is not flying low over the moon, it's going to be very sad. Really? This is not low enough over the moon. Ah, near the moon. Excellent. Um, yeah, uh, let's... Hold on a second. Let's, let's make sure that we get as much data as we can. Conduct material study near the moon. Good. Service bay open. Temperature near the moon. Log temperature. Barometer near the moon. Log pressure data. Good. They're near the moon, but I don't think... I wonder if 30 is where it starts to really slow down, like, flying over the moon. Because it... Oh, cancel. Didn't, didn't I transmit this? Oh! Cancel. What's the report? Space well near the moon. Got it. Um, you know what? Let's orbit one more time. And we'll get even closer we'll make an even closer pass we'll go down to like 10,000 feet 10,000 meters yeah that doesn't seem like a terrible plan right and we'll just come over here and just blast straight back to Kerbal Kerbin 
leave our uh, leave our um, thruster stage orbiting the moon. All right. This is okay. We want to burn retrograde, please. Um. All right. Oh, I can see the numbers right over here, I'm realizing. Ten. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. If that's not flying near the moon, I don't know what is. Um, Jeb, can you transmit your report? View report, transmit. Excellent, good. Okay, I'm going to do one more. One more pass. It's been two days. We did a. Uh, we've already done our high orbit. We're gonna do our or space high above the moon, then space near the moon, and now we're gonna do flying low over the moon. You just stability assist, okay? Three. 3,000 meters. Oh, this is going to be so close. I really hope that I do not crash. It's so close. No, 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 no. Alright. Oh. Look at how... Look at how close that gets. All right, the altitude is twenty thousand meters. Crew report: still space near the moon. Oh my goodness! It's terrifyingly close. Ten thousand, nine thousand, eight thousand. What does flying low over the moon mean to you, Jeb? Seven, six, five, four. Okay, under five thousand meters. That's it. All right, Jeb. Give me a crew report. Space near the moon. Useless. Space near the moon. Yep. All right. This is what we get. Cannot warp faster than 1x. Uh, 3.2 is how low we get. 3.24. 25. Yep, all right. We get nothing. Bug pressure data. I'm going to get this anyway. All right. Close these up. Close this up. Um, oh, my gosh. It's so close. Ugh. Oh, oh, you, observe mystery goo. Yes, perfect. Okay. Just like how massive everything is. Like it looks so close, but like just zoom out and just keep zooming out. There is a shadow and that is a huge shadow. Alright. We can officially... Look, can we set our target for... Not, not activate navigation, but... Advanced orbital info? Inclination, ejection, energy... 
no print approach info. Set approach target first. Yes, but how do I set approach target? How do I set Kerbin as the approach target? Um, um, how to get your target on orbit, how to round a view in low Kerbin orbit. These are all about orbital, uh, orbital rendezvous. That's not what I want. Okay. We're just going to have to kind of wing it, I guess. That's what I like, right? Cool. Terry's going to be, or um, rather, prograde. We're going to be pushing right about here with the same target. <sighs> no, I'm going to have to come here and then push out. So let's, yeah, let's, let's hit here. Warp to here. Oh, what is, what is this? This is a radial out. Um, all right, let's, let's do this by eye, shall we? All right, uh, let's do radial in then. Point out radial in and see what happens. All right, stability assist. Ah, I think that I may be turned from what I'm expecting. Let's see. Come on. Ugh. Don't invert everything. Good, it's auto saving right now. Alright, ready? Uh Yes. This is gonna turn my orbit. Perfect. Aha! We have Moon Escape! And... Cool. Let's stick with it there. Um... We'll just warp straight to there. And then we will, well, we'll warp a little bit past that so that we're actually, all right, goodbye, moon. All right, let's see. Burn retrograde. I know we're not at one of the points, but I want to bring it in now. I don't think I can wait to orbit all the way around. I mean, I, I can, but I don't want to wait to orbit all the way around. Three days, one hour, and 28 minutes. Yeah, no, it's going to take me three days to um, get around there. Absolutely not. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That was neat. All right. Uh, wow. Holy crap. I have an extra I have an entire extra fuel tank. Um Let's pop it. Mm. Am I I'm pointing retrograde right now. I'm going to be continuing to burn retrograde. 
which means that I'm going to be slowing down, which means I want to point prograde before I drop this. Um, can I also turn my... There we go. Yes. That's better. Um, so let's pop this. Oh, something fired out. Not quite sure what, but I think we're still okay. Um, I should have just let that go. All right, there we go. This is going to be a terrible plan. Let's blast ourselves straight into that. I should have just let it go right then, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Let's save. Oops! There's the actual explosion count. Ender, do me a favor and clip that. I... I know that I have somebody that would like to see that. Uh, tracking station, please. Oh, boy. Why this, please? To you, Ender. Look, we're still in good shape. Look. Oh, this is... We're still around the moon. Look, we got plenty of time. Yeah, this was right before I auto-saved. Cool. Um, yep, Monday stream. I had some time before... My wife and child got home, and I said, I want to play more Kerbal. How are you, soldier? Alright. I do know now, though, something I do want to save is... There we go. This is only going to get higher the more that I burn. So... <laughs> Unincredibly intended. Who are you kidding? Alright. Let's warp to our moon escape. Goodbye, moon. It's been nice knowing ya. Oh. Alright. Good. We get our moon escape. After the moon, Mars. Uh, well, I still need to land. Um, I've just done my close orbit of the moon. I was in with three, within three kilometers of the surface. It was incredibly scary. Uh, burn retrograde. I, I'm hoping that I can get this close enough that I won't be leaving this debris around Kerbin. That's really what my biggest concern is. How far do I go for endgame? I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to keep going until uh, until I get bored, basically. That's such a cool uh, orbit there. Okay. Let's see. Can I get there? Oh! Yep. We're going to get there. Awesome. Okay, cool. Just, just just quick save. Don't don't worry about it. No reason. No reason. Hey, we're uh, having a nice little moon encounter. Hi moon. How's how are you doing? Okay, thanks. Bye moon. Like I swear, I think we could orbit like uh one of the Lagrange points in this. I think that would be really, really neat. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Ender. I need to I need to make use of that one. Ah, oh, you're the best, man. I like your title for it, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't have a parry at all for this. Okay, uh... Yeah. Um... 
All right, we're getting down to the surface. Three, two, one. Yep, yes, we do want to burn retrograde here. So actually, you know what? I think I want to burn prograde just briefly so that I don't slam directly into the planet. Um, let's see if we can do it. Let's point up a little bit. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And then up, maybe? Up. There we go. That's that's a that's what I got. Okay. Um uh explode that. Cool. Nope, Z. Z. Ah! Shit. Well, there goes all my stuff. Okay, that's explosion number two. Unintended explosion number two. No, no, Jeb is still fine, technically. Uh, I think we're going with the persistent save. Uh, I just, I lost all my experiments. I can't, I can't lose all my experiments. I mean, come on. Why this? So I think we're going to burn. Yeah, we're going to burn prograde just a little bit. But we're going to do it when we are a little bit closer. Okay, let's see. Going real slow right now, so I've got to slow it down as we speed up. Slow down the time warp as we speed up. Oh, somebody got home. All right, let's see. Let's burn prograde. And use just the tiny bit of fuel that we have to get our parry out. Nope, all right. <clears throat> Pointing retrograde it is. And not making the same mistake I made last time. Ender. <laughs> Let's see. I want to let this fall before I do. So we're going to hit this and then slow ourselves down a little bit so that that will enter the atmosphere before we do. Let's turn on debris, shall we? I can't believe that this thing. I can't believe that this thing is going to eternally orbit. I think that it will slowly burn up. I think it's just inside that range, but. Yeah, cool. Uh. Alright, yeah, that's good enough to get us farther away from it. And make sure that it stays just a bit unintended. Unintended, yes. That one was definitely unintended. I mean, there are other intended explosions. You know, the rockets um, blowing up uh, stuff falling off of, you know, stuff, the stages falling off, you know, that sort of thing. So. All right, I gotta slow down the time warp. Hello! Hi! I'm playing a space game. Ready, look. I got a rocket. Isn't that cool? Ready? Watch. See? I can turn the rocket on now. I can make it spin around. See? Whoa. Hi. You have a fun day at school? Mm -hmm. Good. Alright, 
I'm going to finish this up. You can't come sit on my lap for the whole thing. Things might explode. No, no. I've already had two um, unintended uh, exothermic reactions, we'll say. Nice. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying hard not to have another one. Ready. All right. This is this is my orbit. So this is where my rocket is going. But it kind of goes through this planet here. Oh my goodness. So, you know, let's uh let's not crash into it. What do you think, Allie? Yeah. But, oh, that's Earth. That it does look like Earth. Huh? Yeah. That's basically Earth. Oh, All right. That means you will land on it. I will try to land on it. That's right. That's me trying to land on Earth. Stop playing with my headphones. Get out of here. I'll be up soon, okay? Okay. Love you. Alright, let's let's warp ahead it, shall we? Um can I warp here? Warp here. Yeah. Uh, it's slowly, slowly falling. All right, good. This is far enough away that we should not run into it. Good. Okay. To make sure we're pointing retrograde, we are. Um, and we're picking up speed. So this is where I think... Yeah, burning retrograde will slow me down. Before I hit the atmosphere, that would be nice. I don't th think I'm gonna be able to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to um, completely slow myself down. But oh, but this is a space efficient. Um, I forgot, this is, this is a space efficient, uh, or vacuum efficient engine. So I should be burning it now before I hit the atmosphere. Time's up, next my wife is gonna come in and yell at me. Uh, the time's only up because they're home. That's, I told her I was going to stop streaming once they got home. I told no specifically. I told her I was going to wrap things up when they got home. So my wife is wonderful and incredibly understanding, and I love her very much. I like. It looks like you can see the evidence of a crater here. I wonder if this is actually a, an intentional asteroid impact that they made. Hey, how are we doing? We're Oh, yeah. We're doing great. I I am going to run out of fuel, but I will have slowed myself down massively. All right. Yeah, I mean, I cut my speed in half, I think. Let's... Pop that off. Uh, let's actually just whoop that out and then put ourselves back to retrograde. So it kind of goes on a completely different track than we're going. And wait until we hit the atmosphere. Everything's closed up, right? Yeah. Or like I like the little um goo goo machines on the side of the on the side of the rocket. It's always very amusing. I, I would have liked to have been able to put them into the cabin here, but Oh well. Alright, hitting atmosphere now. We are technically in Yes, we are now gaining atmosphere in Kerbin. And our max speed is about 1.5. Uh, yeah, so our entry speed is 1.5 meters per second. 1.5 kilometers per second and gaining. 
good. And now slowing. We're going to land in some mountains, that's nice. And slowing without anything actually burning, so that's nice. Uh, safe to deploy these. Oh, excellent. Huh. Hey, the GoFar Mark II debris finally... Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's the, the debris that I just... Oh, did that survive? No. Okay, I was gonna say. Did, did that stage survive? No, 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 no. I thought it was this. Um, again, very slowly die. Yeah, the goo machines. It's a, a mystery goo TM containment unit, you know, like you have and on all the good rockets. All right, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four hundreds, three hundreds, two hundreds, reducing our incoming speed to basically nothing. Ah, perfect. Perfect. That worked out so well. So much better than I would have expected. Hey, Moon. Bye, Moon. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, good. Cool. Um... Just out of curiosity. Uh, no, actually, I did. I, I I did use both of those. Okay. Um. Hey Jeb, question for you: How's your crew report? Kerbin's Mountains. Cool. Um, can you get out? Ah. Oh my gosh! Put your helmet back on. Um, EVA report. Oh right. Uh, get back in. Uh, review, send, get back out there. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm, I, I don't think I'll get anything from walking around. Um, cool. Back to the tracking station. Let's recover that. Whew. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's good. Um... Yes. The, oh, yes. So this is on a suborbital trajectory, it says. But it's... Harry is still at 43,000 meters, so it's going to take a while to burn. Recover this. We earned 200 science. Material study while in space near the moon. Atmospheric pressure span, scan while in space near the moon. Yeah, uh, two of those. Uh, the second one gave me nothing. Same with the second temperature scan, but the temperature scan in the space near the moon. Mystery observation while well in space high and close near the moon. And recovery of a vessel returned from orbit around the moon. Ah. Oh. Excellent. Mm. Oh, hello, ocean. The subocean is there. Uh, delete all messages, that's fine. So now we just need to plant a flag, but... Oh! Oh, 267 science. Okay, the biggest thing 
Where's my fucking ladder? I can build a ladder now. I'm going to make this exact same stupid craft and I'm going to put a freaking ladder on it. That's what we're coming down to. I'm probably going to make the lander slightly better. But, um, so I still have 177,000. Oh, yes, cool. Still have 177,000. But I will figure out what I'm going to do with that next time i may take advanced construction here so we'll see what happens ladders are science and apparently they're quite advanced science too so all right that will get me much farther than anything else thank you so much for joining me for this unexpected uh herbal stream uh yeah soldier ender thank you so much for hanging out everybody else who's been watching thank you uh, check out the Discord for when I would normally stream, and have a great night.